Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Got a fun video for you today. We're going to be looking at the Canadian one cent coins. Now what I did was I uh, tried to accumulate a little kind of set of every a penny from every metal content or design change for the Canadian pennies dating back to 1947 um, until 2008. Now you'll notice I don't have any pennies from after 2008. And in fact, no one has any pennies from after 2012 because that's the year the Canadian Mint killed the one cent coin. Uh, so in 2012, uh, May 2012, Canada officially stopped producing the one cent coin. Like the United States, it costs more uh, to produce the one cent coin than it is worth. Uh, Canadian pennies cost 1.6 uh, Canadian cents uh, to manufacture, and the government expects to save $11 million a year by eliminating the penny. Uh, that's a very small fraction of their GDP. It's 0.0006% of the GDP, so a very small uh, change in the GDP. However, you know, every bit uh, helps, I guess, when you're trying to save money for the government. Now, the U.S. Uh, still has the same problem. We're still producing pennies, but as a coin collector, I am quite fine with that. Uh, it currently costs 2.4 cents to make every United States penny out there. Now, you might have heard me say that it, uh, the metal content of the current zinc penny is less than a cent. That is true. Um, I've said that in some of my other videos. However, there's a lot of other costs that go into it. And this website, theeconomist.com, says it takes 2.4 cents in total once you factor in that metal content and all of the other costs that go in there. It also costs 11.2 uh, 11 11 cents to produce the nickel. So if the United States stopped producing the penny, uh, we'd have an even bigger loss with the nickel. So maybe that's why they're keeping it around. But let's get into today's video. So up in the top left here, we have the 1947 uh, Canadian penny. Actually, let me do this first. I think this is going to be a pretty uh, cool thing. I'm going to reveal uh, the obverse of the coin, and you can see how it kind of changes throughout. I uh, did this once before when I was preparing for this video, and I thought it, uh, thought it was cool to kind of flip them over because the reverse doesn't really change. But as you flip them over, the obverse changes. So we can see we got George the sixth, Queen Elizabeth the second, and then we kind of see starting right there, we see Queen Elizabeth the second age over the years. I'll zoom down in a second once I get my hand free. All right. So we got uh, George the sixth at the top, then we got Queen Elizabeth the second right, right with uh, this one right here, and then we got uh, her all the way through. What's cool is these two coins right here, these are Dodge Tagnagel coins, uh, meaning that these are 12-sided coins. All of the other ones are round. I like the 12-sided coins, but probably doesn't really make too much sense to produce them. Uh, round coins work just fine. So the top left, this one right here, this one was made from 37 until 47. Uh, its metal content is bronze. It has a weight of 3.24 grams. On the obverse, we see King George VI facing the left. The next one, uh, we see George VI as well. Um, this one, however, uh, has a slightly different metal composition. It's still uh, bronze with mostly copper, but this particular metal con uh, composition let me get my pointer back. Uh, this particular metal composition was made from 48 until 52. Then starting in 1953, which is this one right here, uh, Queen Elizabeth II appears on the penny for the first time. So that is her at age 27. So that particular series ran from 1953 until 1964. Its metal content was 98% copper. Um, and a little bit zinc as well. But most of these are 98% copper. Uh, they're very uh, nice coins, but you know, expensive to produce. So we switch uh, to this one right here, which was made from 65 until 79. Uh, this one right here has Queen Elizabeth II at age 39. So she's aged a little bit from 27 to 39 right here. And this next one, uh, this one was made from 8. 1980 to 1981, 
We see Queen Elizabeth II at age 39 as well. However, the weight drops off from this one to this one. This one weighs 3.24 grams. This one right here weighs just, hold on, uh, 2.8 grams. So this one right here weighs 2.8 grams. They drop the weight off for this one. And guess what? With this one right here, it weighs even less. This one weighs 2.5 grams was made from 82 until 89. So in this little row right here, we have three different uh, weight changes. It starts off at 3.24 grams, then it goes to 2.8, and then it goes to 2.5. So we leave off, we left off on this one right here. Uh, this particular one was made from 1990 until 1996. As I said earlier, it's Dodge Tagnall. Um, meaning that is a 12-sided coin. This is Queen Elizabeth, um, whoops, excuse me, this, uh, this is 1986. This one right here is Queen Elizabeth at age 39, weighing uh, 2.5 grams as well. This one right here was the uh, switch that I was thinking about earlier. So we go from uh, Queen Elizabeth at 39 to 64. So she kind of ages quite a lot. Queen Elizabeth II at age uh, 64 started appearing in 1990. So this one was made from 1990 until 1996. But guess what? It gets even better. We got more Queen Elizabeth II. So the next uh, series, which I don't have right here, unfortunately, was made from 97 until 2003. That was a copper-plated zinc, so they took out the copper between the years of 1996 and 1997. They switched from a mostly copper coin to a copper-plated zinc. So that happened around 97, which was about uh, 14 years after the U.S. switched over from copper to zinc. And the final one that I have in the series is this one right here. Uh, this one's got some cool features to it, and it was made from 2003 until 2012. This is Queen Elizabeth II at age 77. Now, it was made up until 2012. 2012 was the last year that they were made, so there aren't any more to follow this. So we saw some cool portraits of Queen Elizabeth II and George VI. Now, there are some older Canadian one-cent coins out there. I made some other videos about them, um, but I figured this would be kind of a good length, a good series for me to show you and you can see the different changes in Queen Elizabeth II and you'll just have to take my word about the different uh, metal content changes but you can always look that up as well. All right I'll start to sign off if you enjoyed this video please do check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thank you all we're on our way to 25,000 subscribers so please help the journey and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right thank you everyone enjoy.